What is going on YouTube, friends and family, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for all the latest UKM media updates and story videos. So this is the OFB story. You guys have been waiting on this, I'm going to sum up OFB. Um, I've already got a video on all of the members listed, so watch that, I'll leave a link at the end of this video. OFB the story is the one a lot of you guys have been waiting for. Make sure you smash that like button because I finally made it. This took a while and it's just literally summing it up. It's not going to be 40 minutes to an hour, like a full documentary, that will come in the future. But leave a like on this video if you want to see more of the individual stories like heady one double l's i ain't done yet and a few of them guys if you want to see more stories on ofp members make sure you drop a like on this video if it hits 2000 likes i'll do heady one i'll do double l's i'll do a few of the up and coming members as well so make sure you leave a like on this video first of all it must be noted ofb were not always ofb they were known as the tottenham mandem and constantly changed names of course it's that broadwater farm area and you've had ogs like mark duggan from back in the day Bando K's dad that was represented. Also of that Broadwater Farm collective was known as Star Gang and some of the members in that was like Heady One. Heady Known was used to be known as Heads. Also RV used to be known as Young RV. Later they come prominent in the drill scene and they change their name to OFB. They are from Broadwater Farm in Tottenham, London and there's numerous members to name. There's a video at the end of this you guys can watch if you want to see all the members currently in OFB. But of course, they are absolutely killing the scene right now. The thing I love most about OFB is the fact that they're putting so many people on. Everyone's coming out of a song and just got hashtag OFB in it right now and they are killing it. So many members, it's like 20 members and they're always recruiting and they're bringing a lot of people from the roads into the music industry. So OFB stands for Original Farm Boys. So the first three people I'm going to talk about is the guys I've got to give a lot of credit to, which is Heady One, RV and Abracadabra. These three guys were put on Tottenham on the map from early and then the others will come along and absolutely send OFB crazy. So these three. The first member, Heady One, we're going to talk about. This guy's done everything, charting. He's had songs like Don't Rush, which has had over 50 million hits on YouTube. He's had a song with Drake, the only you freestyle, come out a month ago on 16 million views. He's had songs like Both and Missing. He's also done a lot of collabs with RV, and he's began to put fellow members on the map. He's got songs with the Youngers, SJ, Double L's, and of course, Band OK, where he made a song with them, which was called Once in a While. Of course, his right-hand man, RV, as well, has done some good songs. He put on Bando K, Double L's and SJ on Crep Shop as well, which got 5.6 million views. Better known for the No Better song, him, Heady One, absolutely changed drill with that song and was an absolute classic. And he was also on the Crib Session with OFB as well. Next up, Abracadabra. I like this guy. He has his own style, a deep, deep voice. He's in a competition between him, Dutch Avelli, and Unknown T for the deepest voice in the scene right now. Like songs like Robbery put Tottenham on the map hugely with Crept and Conan featuring it being massive at the time. He recently dropped a song with Mastermind, which is a banger, and his Daily Duppy is a classic on almost 7 million views on YouTube. Heady One, RV and Abracadabra were all from that OFB Boardwater Farm unit but weren't really hashtagging the OFB and these three made it really cool and changed the game. SJ, Bando K and Double L's have absolutely changed things. They dropped songs like Ambush, Next Up, the song with Heady One, Listen Up and all these songs, even Yo and Reality and absolutely changed the game and done serious numbers. They've already got coming up to 100 million views on YouTube together and have absolutely changed the game. To be honest with you, from these six guys putting it on the map and absolutely sending OFB crazy, since then there's been member after member joining. And the thing I like about them, these guys are coming from environments where they haven't got to do certain things these guys have done and are putting them on a the music. Not many groups like to put people on. All the other groups in the UK have not got as many members as OFB and people don't realise and see the common sense. They want to be the star of the show, but by putting people on, you're making your group bigger and making that name bigger. If someone like Ispot or anyone in the group gets new fans, or even JS, they will bring him to you because they will see that hashtag OFB and it's just making the group bigger and bigger. There's a lot of OFB members on the rise at the moment and just to name a few, Kush is doing really good numbers and is very underrated. We got Desi coming through, we got Delsa dropping track after track, also Axe. There's numerous members that are coming through and already doing serious numbers just getting started. You've got Brad coming through, you've got JS doing good numbers at such a young age, you've got Ispot, you've got DSAV, all these guys are coming through and OFB are easily the biggest group in the game at the moment. It's safe to say their rise has been fast and to mention every single OFB member is hard but if you guys want to see anyone and want an in-depth story on anyone, I'm going to put a lot of them on my second channel breaking down every single member in his journey and what he's about and his style, everything. Comment below the exact member you want to see and I'll break him down individually and that'll be on my second channel. 
In terms of OFB's criminal history, of course, Heady One went inside for possession of a knife not ago, but he is home. Also, RV went in prison for a little while, and a lot of these members have had criminal problems, but a few they've lost on a bigger basis. First member I want to mention, of course, SJ got birded off. I've made numerous videos covering his story. If you guys want to watch it, link up in the description. But basically, he was involved in a stabbing with a rival gang member. Next up, we have Boogie B. Very similar situation where someone was chased and someone was stabbed. The knife clan pandemic's going crazy and OFB are really from that and are trying to escape it with their music. Lot of these guys being in the studio is the best thing because they ain't fighting gang rivals. Another guy they lost allegedly was Remzi out of OFB, but a lot of the people don't co-sign him or what he did, because of course he robbed the guy for his trainers and ended up stabbing a kid in the process, and literally everyone was disgusted by it. That's the main members and the biggest ones with the criminal problems, but I'm going to have a criminal history part 2 video coming out on OFB. Leave a like if you want to see that, while I go into some of their new members and their criminal history and the guys that are currently inside and will be on this music thing when they come out. I've also made a video already on the people they're beefing, but the guys they don't like of course is Russ, they don't like Tion Wayne, they've had beef with MPK as well, despite being cool in the past. And Guys, if you've already seen this video of me breaking down OFB's beef, then you can skip this video to around the 11 minute 48 and continue watching. If not, then enjoy it. First up, we have their beef with Russ. At the time, OFB was clear they wanted to be on top, sending for Russ when he was booming and doing a lot better than they was, and now they probably overtaking him. The Gunling song was an absolute hit by Russ and was charting and all sorts, and OFB said, try Gunling and you will get shot from the backseat on their Tim Westwood and sent shots at him first then. Russ did actually come back by dissing Mark Duggan and saying go ride for your dad to Band OK because Mark Duggan was actually killed by a police officer and he's saying Band OK should ride out for him and Russ also replied to them saying that he can't talk to them because he might get bagged meaning that if he says certain things online and stuff happens to them then he'll get arrested for it so he's not going to talk too much and said he's going to leave the beef to on road. Russ since then has had beef with tons and tons of people and fell off a bit and OFB have definitely overtaken him now and probably the bigger rappers. Russ sent for them recently as well. He dissed Heady One's song Gang. Heady One was inside and come back with a tune which sounded a lot different and Russ was mocking the sound of that song and someone mentioned SJ on that same Instagram live and also Russ said he got a hundred years no one sort of cares about him. So Russ now being a smaller rapper is trying to get his come up again by dissing them and these guys beefing has been a back and forth for a while. I don't know, like that one's cool. Turner was on ropes. Yeah, I've never seen that guy in my life, you know. I'm just leaving them, man. I'm going to apply to you guys, man. <laughs> they're, so, they're so boring, man. We've been doing this for like a year now. Uh, they love it, bro. They keep the thing alive. they got 100 years. Forget about SJ, man. got 100 years. Forget about it. Go on, innit? I know the maddest thing out here is, yeah, you see niggas that do dirt with each other, yeah, I just don't get it, bro, and the man starts singling each other, it's just all crazy. Start snitching each other. Where about that snitching, bro? Yeah. Don't get it. I'm telling you, bro, blood, you're so happy to be on the way to, on the way to the booth. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You get it, like, man, not snitches, bro. Man, heard yesterday, bro. How's it going? Like, fuck all of that, bro. Yeah, none of that shit, man, bro. Serious. Don't forget to. <laughs> oh, fucking shit, tunes, man. You lost Kings of George or some meaty tunes on Thursday, boy. Next up, we have OFB's beef with Tion Wayne. They clearly don't like him. On that same Tim Westwood, they said that his gun leans, but he don't back beef. Saying he doesn't back beef was the first shot they sent him, but on Listen Up as well, the song, they said Tion Wayne is a in Muppet. Now, straight like that, just drawing them out, they also had a lyric off, but they said they stopped chasing them like it as well. Obviously, no swearing because it's YouTube, but that was the claims they had made on that song. We clearly don't like Tion either. But it has to be noted, there was a situation where Tion Wayne bumped into Kush, who's a member of OFB, and this happened. Kush responded. Um, I think he was outnumbered and stuff, but he got out of there. Tion Wayne put on Snapchat and Russ put on Snapchat. Come out of the car! Come out of the car, where you going? 
Come look at these guys, bro. Look at you, look at you. <laughs> I'm looking at my phone. Then I've seen a man run up behind like my car. He's running up behind me, you get me? Gone to my driver's side. But then he's got his phone out. He's like, come out of the car, come out of the car. I've looked at him. I've looked to the left, I'm seeing another you running up next to me. Then I've looked back at him. That's when he's tried to f*** the video for me. I've looked back at him. You get me? I've just popped my little signs and I cut. I ain't no fucking hero, bro. I cut my signs, I cut. You're gonna know what goes down. Next up we have Lamps, he's a rival gang member of Earth B, there's been numerous disses, the most notable one being SJ, SJ only song youngest in charge, blurred out the name, he said I just see a op, let me take him out, RIP Lamps didn't make it out, ouch. If you guys remember they also dissed him on their next stop as well, they said hiding, where's Lamp Post, I can't find him, I'm lying, I just see a pic of him dying. They also mentioned him on their Tim Westwood in 2019 as well, they said Shank or Man might circle the twos but their block come dead like Lamps. Rest in peace to Lamps, he lost his life very very young, he was very well respected where he was from and by his people, there's always comments about him on YouTube and people telling me to make a story about him and his journey um, which might come soon. But it's safe to say OFB have no restrictions on talking about rival gang members that passed. On that Tim Westwood they took shots at Russ, they took shots at Lamps, they also took shots at A1 from the 9, he said this bad B keeps telling me lies, she reminds me of A1 from the 9, that was Band OK taking shots at another gang member. A little witty reference basically just saying about how much lies A1 from the 9 is telling his music and how much lies his girl tells him. Thank you guys for watching this video, make sure you subscribe, OFB are growing and getting bigger and bigger, SJ was a huge setback, they're doing a lot of individual songs at the moment and more and more artists are getting recruited, so if you want to see a part 2 in the future, make sure you smash the like button, like I said I come back to these videos, I have a look, if it's got a lot of likes that means you guys liked it and you want to see a part 2 or more OFB videos, so make sure you smash the like button, do not forget to subscribe either, I've got a lot of content coming for you guys on other people in the UK and more OFB content and I'll see you in my next video, peace out.